Welcome back to the Capitol Center at Landover, Maryland, and we are just about ready for the first round of side-by-side -side competition. Qualifying is completed, and the big story is that Michael Vodders has repaired the Black Stallion Ford. The number one qualifier will be back in the first round of elimination. But first up, it'll be the incredible Ford Mustang called Pony Express of Anthony Fortier. He'll be up against the dominant force in U.S. Hobbit Association Monster Truck Racing this year, Rob Fuchs in the first blood Ford. They leave the line. Finish line, it's a full truck length advantage for the bright red Ford F-350 from Illinois. On the replay, they leave the starting line evenly, but that's the only place where Fuse was not in total control. He'll advance to round number two easily on the strength of that kind of performance. Meanwhile, back on the starting line, the crowd favorite lines up. The North Carolina-based 1950 Chevrolet called Gravedigger. That has proven to be one of the most popular machines in the history of the category. He'll be up against Norman Grogan and the Kid Stuff Chevrolet. Neither machine really being flat-footed through this course, but certainly Les Anderson took it handily. They left the starting line together, but as you can see at the finish line, it was more than a full truck length over the bright red Chevrolet in the near lane. Les Anderson cruises back to the pits to prepare for the semi-final round. The crowd has always gone crazy for the green machine, but now it'll be Mike Beeler in the near lane in the record, taking on the star monster of Dan Tesori. I was about to say that the GMC looked like it had the advantage, but an incredible come from behind ever by Beeler made this one incredibly close. Unbelievable. The Star Master a little sideways in the far lane gets the win by six inches. Now our ESPN Monster Cam will take us for a ride with the winner. Man, you can see Beeler in the far lane come around right at the finish line. The flag falls reflecting off everything in the interior. And there is the victor. Tesori heads for the pit area with a semi-final round berth. Now, Michael Vodders gets a bye run in the first round. He will advance to the semi-finals. And he's in tough company with First Blood, Grave Digger, and Star Monster ready as well. The sport of monster truck racing has been thrilling racing fans across North America and abroad for almost 17 full seasons. Today's lightweight behemoths battle in front of crowds of up to 70,000 racing fans on a week-in and week-out basis. The original monster truck was created in 1974 by St. Louis, Missouri's Bob Chandler. Originally designed to create some business for his four-wheel drive center, the incredible Bigfoot became an overnight sensation across the country. But indeed, it was this machine from those original exhibition car crushes that started a sport. Literally a multi-million dollar business that spawned new machines, including the Grave Digger, world champion Fred Schaefer's Barefoot Chevrolet, and dozens more. These are the machines that now battle for supremacy in one of the fastest growing indoor motor sports in the world. And at this point, it doesn't appear to be slowing down. Coming up, Super Modified Mud Racing. Stay with us.